This is a legitimate question, not just for the Browns, but for any team. In the age of free agency and the way these contracts work and the way you cut bait quickly, no matter oh, – $50 million guaranteed spread over four years equals one to two seasons with a given team. Right. And so all those moving parts create for me a sense, and parity beyond that, creates this vibe where I kind of feel like any sport, and this is happening in all the sports, is – that there's a vibe that eventually your numbers just your numbers going to come up if you wait it out. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like I do it used know to what be you mean, it but... used to be that you would have a stra- the Yankees had a stranglehold on MLB mm-hmm. and there was no there was no way around that for for long stretches. The in, when it was the original 6 and there wasn't free agency in hockey I'm talking about for 25 years. Nobody moved, so your team was your team and if right. it wasn't uh, if it wasn't smiled upon by the hockey gods when it was constructed, you were never going to win a Stanley Cup during that run. Now it feels like at least there's the latitude in movement of of talent that your numbers should come up. But, but Mo- the- what teams what teams stink in pro football every year? What team is never not good? What well, is never good? The Browns. The Browns, that's where <laughs> yeah. we got to. But everybody seems like they it feels to me like if you just hang but, in but long that, enough, but that's eventually not good your enough, team's going to be halfway decent. That's the point. Is halfway decent is fine, but what we're talking about is getting to, I think the question was, win a Super Bowl. And that's the thing that in the NFL these days, even up to – even when free agency was happening, I remember when the Cow- when Jimmy Johnson assembled that Cowboys team and they went from being 1-15 and 15 to whatever it was four or five years later, you could see them transitioning into being – Yeah, that's like, right. The window – these, you know, they always talk about the Super Bowl window. The window back then, relatively speaking, seemed like it was very large. It was like a French door type of window. But now, because of those contracts you just talked about, you might have you might have assembled the perfect roster, maybe for no more than a year now or two like years. Now it's more like one of those Mister like Ed one kind of, of two way doors, right. Like only half of it open. Or if you're trying to climb out of the bathroom window because you've, uh, you know, you, or climb in a bathroom. I don't know. What I will say is, I they don't have their quarterback who's going to win them that Super Bowl yet, and yet. I support staying with Cody Kessler and not taking the bait as they, you know, previous regimes in Cleveland would and the New York Jets almost invariably are going to with Jay Cutler or Colin Kaepernick. The answer is not in the Browns building, but it's also not available in free agency right now. So and I it's think not actually in this draft, I don't think. Probably not. I, I, would, I would be looking I don't to, know, but I, I'm to not ready to say season. Deshaun Watson's going to be a – because people did that. People have seized collectively on the fact that he had some inaccuracy issues throwing the ball outside the numbers downfield. But then again, he, he beat Bama in that title game. He was just about clean for two straight seasons there. He's so dynamic. I just think people got caught up in this one aspect of him – Cam Newton, I say it all the time, but Cam Newton and Ben Roethlisberger disproved the notion that you can't can't succeed in the NFL as a quarterback if you have accuracy issues.